In this video, we are going to be looking at the equation of a line in standard form. So the equation of a line in standard form uh, is going to be AX plus BY plus C equals zero. And you can convert an equation uh, from y equals mx plus b, which is slope-intercept form, uh, to ax plus by plus c, and vice versa. So an example of a, an equation in standard form uh, would be something like 3x plus 5y minus 7 equals 0. And we have our a value 3, our b value 5, and our c value, which is negative 7. But before we go ahead and start converting uh, standard form to y equals mx plus b and y equals mx plus b to standard form, we have to look at a, uh, a, b, and c, these three variables, because they have some restrictions. So let's start off with a. We have our variable a, and the restriction for a is that it must be a positive integer. So that means a must be a whole number greater, greater than zero. It can't be a negative number. It can't be a fraction. It can't be a decimal. It has to be a positive integer. Uh, our next variables are b and c. Now b and c must be integers. So that means they can be positive, they can be negative, uh, they just have to be whole numbers. They can't be fractions or decimals. So in this part of the video, we are going to be converting y equals mx plus b, so slope-intercept form, to ax plus by plus c equals 0, which is standard form. So let's write an equation in y equals mx plus b. Something like y equals 2x plus 5. So to convert this equation to a uh, standard form, all we have to do is bring our y to our right side. So we can have all our terms on one side uh, and our zero on another side. So to do this, we have to subtract y on both sides, just like when we balance an equation. So you have y minus y equals 2x minus y plus 5. And that means uh, y minus y is 0, and we have 0 equals 2x minus y plus 5. Uh, and when we write an equation in standard form, we always have to check to make sure we have our uh, a, b, and c values that meet our uh, restrictions, that meet our requirements. So you have a, which is a positive integer, uh, b, uh, which is uh, an integer because it's negative 1, and c is also an integer since it's 5. Uh, and also remember, when you're writing an equation in standard form, make sure you, that you have your x, y, and then c value, just in that order, not any other order. So for our next example, uh, we have y equals negative 2x minus 7. So for this example, again, we have to move our y to one side. So we have y minus y equals negative 2x minus y minus 7. Uh, and that means we have 0 equals negative 2x minus y uh, minus 7. Uh, but this time we don't have an equation in standard form because our a value this time, if I go and look at our a value, is actually negative. It's not positive, And we always have to have a positive a value. So that means to make our a value positive, we have to multiply both sides by negative 1. So just like when we balance an equation, uh, we're, we have to do the same uh, operation on both sides. Uh, so this time we're multiplying by negative 1 on both sides. So we have negative 1 times negative 2x minus y minus 7. And that gives us 0 equals negative 1. Now we can distribute our brackets. So we have negative 1 times negative 2x. And since we have two positives, uh, we multiply, uh, sorry, we have two negatives, so we multiply uh, these two negatives to get a positive, and we have a negative 1 times negative y, which is plus y, and we have negative 1 times negative 7, which is uh, positive 7. 
So that means we can say that this equation is in standard form because we have our A value, uh, which is positive, and we have our B and Z C values, which are integers. So we're still converting our uh, Y equals MX plus B to AX plus BY plus C equals zero. But this time we're looking at uh, Y equals MX plus B with fractions. So let's say we have something like Y equals three over seven, 3 over 7, negative 3 over 7 x, uh, and we're subtracting 15 over 14. So we have this equation here, uh, and we want to convert it to standard form. So the first thing is we have to bring our terms to one side, just like we, we did when y equals mx plus b didn't have fractions. So we are still subtracting y on both sides. So we have negative 3 over 7 x minus y minus 15 over 14. So that gives us 0 equals negative 3 over 7 x minus y minus 15 over 14. So now we have to look at our a, b, and c values because we always have to remember that a is a positive integer. So keep in mind that we can have fractions for A and B and C must be integers. So again, keep in mind that we can have fractions for B and C just like with A. So now let's go back to our equation. We have negative 3 over 7x minus y minus 15 over 14. So now we still have to convert this uh, to standard form. We, we are not done yet because A is a fraction. A is negative 3 over 7 and C is negative 15 over 14. It's a fraction. And also A is not positive. It's negative. So what we have to do here is we have to uh, it, we have to use the same concepts we use when we uh, solve an equation with fractions. And that is to take the lowest common multiple of the denominators of our fractions. So let's break this down and look at the denominators of our fractions. So we have denominator of 7 and we have a denominator of 14. So now we have to think, uh, what is the lowest common multiple of uh, these two numbers? Well, it's obviously going to be 14. Uh, and this is the number we're going to be multiplying by on both sides. So uh, now we can just multiply by 14 on both sides. So we have 14 times 0 equals 14 times negative 3 over 7x minus y minus 15 over 14. So our equation now uh, is going to be uh, 4 to 0 equals 14 uh, times negative 3 over 7. So that is going to be negative 6x uh, minus 14 over y. And then our 14s cancel out for 14 times negative 15 over 14. Uh, so that means we get negative 15. Now we're almost done except uh, a has to be a positive integer and a is negative 6. So again we're going to use the same concept and multiply by negative 1 on both sides. So we have negative 1 times negative 6x minus 14y minus 15. So that means we have 0 equals 6x because we have negative 1 times negative 6 plus 14y and negative 1 times negative 15 is positive 15. So that's our equation in standard form. Uh, and remember that we can still we can uh, multiply uh, negative 1 and uh, 14 because we're doing it on both sides. So it doesn't doesn't change the actual value of the equation. Uh, and if you want to uh, reduce the number of steps uh, in this problem, you can actually just multiply by negative 14 in our step when we multiply by 14. Instead of 14, you can multiply by negative 14 because if you distribute it, you will have negative 14 times negative 3 over 7, which will give you a positive value for 8. So you can do that or you can just use uh, this method here where you multiply by 14, then negative 1. So now we are going to be converting standard form to y equals mx plus b. So let's look at an example of an equation that is in uh, standard form, like this equation here, x minus y plus 4. And let's convert it to y equals mx plus b. 
So the first thing you have to do is isolate our Y variable. Uh, and just like we did with standard form, uh, where we had to put all our terms on one side, this time our method is to isolate our y variable since uh, y equals mx plus v has y on one side of the equation. So that means uh, when we isolate y, we have to add y on both sides in this example since we're subtracting y. So we have 0 plus y equals x minus y plus y plus 4. So we have y equals x plus 4. Uh, and we don't have to worry about a, b, and c because our equation is already in uh, y equals mx plus b. So now our next equation is going to be 0 equals 8x plus 2y plus 10. So again, we have to isolate our y uh, term. So our y is going to be on one side. So that means we have to subtract y in this case since we're adding y. So we have 0 minus 2y equals ax plus 2y minus 2y plus 10. So we have negative 2y equals 8x plus 10. So in this example here, we have negative 2y. We don't have uh, just a single y term. We have a coefficient of negative 2, not 1. So to get rid of this coefficient, negative 2, we just divide on both sides, just like we would do when we're solving an equation. So we have negative 2y divided by negative 2 equals 8x plus 10 divided by negative 2. So we have y equals... And when we're dividing by negative 2 and our, our numerator has addition, is using addition, so you have 8x plus 10, what we have to do is divide each term uh, by negative 2. So 8x will be divided by negative 2, so that's negative 4x. And 10 will be, uh, we have to divide 10 and negative 2, so that's negative 5. So you have y equals negative 4x minus 5. So the last example of this video is going to be 9x minus 4y plus 19 equals 0. So we have this equation here and we have to convert it to y equals mx plus b. So again, we're going to follow the same concept and move our y to one side. So we have 9x minus 4y plus 4y. plus 19 equals 0 plus 4y. So 9x plus 19 is going to give us 4y. So again, we're going to be dividing by 4 on both sides so that we can have a single uh, term y with a coefficient 1. So you have 9x plus 19 divided by 4 equals 4y divided by 4. So now our equation is going to be uh, 9x plus 19 divided by 4. And again, we have to divide each term by 4. So you have 9x divided by 4. So that's going to be 9 over 4x. And we have 19 divided by 4. So that's going to be 19 divided by 19 over 4 fraction. And that equals y. And when we're writing in y equals mx plus b, y should be on the left side. So we have y equals 9 over 4x plus 19 over 4.